Hello, fellow crafters, welcome back. So I've got a different project here for you. Uh, this is from the paper line Sunshine. I wanna say they have a, um, I think it's P13 is the name of their company. Um, and Sunshine is an absolutely gorgeous uh, paper line. It comes in these gorgeous little baby six by sixes. Uh, the paper quality is so nice. Uh, you can see the gorgeous little uh, Paris Eiffel Tower and the little girl on her cute little turquoise uh, teal colored uh, Notre Dame in the corner and purple little lilacs, uh, summer vacation um, goodies, the gorgeous pink suitcase, uh, cameras, and, and the paper line is just delicious. Uh, perfect for our, our summer coming up. And I want to say this paper line is old. It is not new. I want to. I think I bought this uh, in the last three or four months. And it was from um, scrapbook.com. Uh, really cute little bikini girl. And then the paper line starts over. So uh, I ordered, I think, maybe three or four of these uh, paper packs. And they come in a big... 12 by 12 line also. Uh, I have tons of leftover. Um, it comes with these gorgeous little um, doodads and, and really pretty, uh, almost like a travel card uh, that you can just cut out and use as a tag. Uh, have tons of leftovers. And I like to keep all of my leftovers together in one pack until I just put pictures in my bag. Once they have pictures in my bag, then I like to get rid of my entire paper line uh, for whatever reason, uh, it, whatever I have that, uh, that happens to it, I like to get rid of it after I have. Now these are what they call those cutouts. Uh, the 12 by 12 paper also has it. I, I, I would not wanna do cutouts on this. Maybe like a little stamp punch. Uh, would be cute, but uh, Kelly, I'm uh, sorry, Rosa Kelly is one of my absolutely favorite YouTubers. Oh my gosh, totally have a crush on her. Her techniques, her details, her little mini books are fabulous, and this is her camera book. You can go on her website, uh, her YouTube channel, and she will, you can get her instructions. This is just my interpretation of it. And you know, I always put a little bit of a twist on it or do something different or add more bling or, so I ordered the paper line instructions, the paper project instructions from her. And then uh, she didn't have any more paper. So I ordered it from scrapbook.com. Um, so the gold on this is, from Michael's and it's that gold foil um, and that's how I ended up with this little camera and let me show you how adorable is this even just on top now let me show you the cute little camera and then the back on the back I added tons of glitter right here I added little flower a little sway of pearls around here a little purple thing and, and accents with the nouveau dots nouveau dots uh, here and there. Uh, I would also love to add more here to the front. I just haven't. And then the sides has another little girl with her suitcase. I kind of superimposed that and it says lucky girl. Uh, this little green lucky girl and then over here that says Trey Chic. So Trey Chic and the little Eiffel Tower. That is from the Anna Griffin a hundred years ago when we used to get those kind of things. Um, so anyway, so the way this opens up, it's supposed to be a camera. It has the most adorable little uh, sequence things inside of it. The camera itself has cameras around the edge, if you can see that. The round part here of this is actually my duct tape uh, inner cardboard part of it. Do you see how that would fit? But it's from my, uh, the duct tape one or the shipping tape. I'm not sure which one I used on it. So lift this part up and you have this gorgeous pink suitcase, one outlined with the gold, and then more pink, and more delicious pink, and more delicious gold, and I added pink big dots to these. I think I got it at one of the conventions. So then you kind of have to pay attention when you're adding this, if it's important to you. If it's not important, no big deal. But if there's a direction to your paper, you want your cameras to be 
sitting looking at you is what I would want, I feel like. So, um, and then this one is the little suitcases kind of looking at me like if they were sitting. And here's the same, you wanna pay attention to that when you put your little people down. And then the way you open this is the little green ribbon. You know, if you have a little ribbon in my little scrapbooks, there's gonna be a little surprise there to pull. So you open it up. How big is this suitcase uh, book? You're gonna ask me, so let me check. I have no idea. Now, I always tweak my sizes because I seem to go larger all the time anyway. This is nine and a half. And uh, tall, we are at seven. Nine and a half by seven. And of course, that doesn't include the little outside. This is just the actual pages is what this is. And then thick, let's see. It is going to be at four, three and a half. Three and a half, okay? So we're open it up. And here you'll see how delicious the inside looks. Look at this, the little cameras, the little gold. You know I love those little gold corners already. And then uh, here is what we call this little girl in the middle. She shows you how to make a little sliding, um, kind of like a hold the door kind of person. So it's supposed to hold these two uh, parts from opening. I made mine, I think, a little too tight. If I keep using it, maybe I'll loosen it up, but it's a little mechanism and she teaches you how to do that. So here is, let's move our little doll over and you open this up and then you can push it out and you end up like this. Is that not the best thing ever? And of course, I didn't add too much after this. This is 110 cardstock and then little pink uh, corners here and there. This is from that Prima line that I love. So, okay. And then if you move your little girl this way, you can do the same thing to the other side. Okay, now you can move your girl back this way and you're here. So you have a beautiful place to put a big picture there in the middle, right here. This is, I intentionally left it as a pocket so that maybe you can add little mementos that you might want to, little ticket lines, your, your airline ticket doodads and stuff like that, okay? So my little girl goes back inside. And then on this part, I like to add extra little pockets because you end up with so much paper. So this is a planning process. You have to plan this when you're doing and gluing things down. Look at this absolutely gorgeous paper. So of course, when I have them and I'm adding extra mats to things, I try to make the little tab that I love and then a little ribbon so that somebody knows, you know, when I die, somebody will find my books and uh, know that I'm supposed to pull on those things to go. So. Here is uh, the main part of the book. This is challenging to have this little doodad on your uh, book here, but it's so much fun, it's totally worth the challenge. So here is the first designer page, I believe it's called. Super cute, she shows you how to do these three little things. These little things I popped up so that you can sneak a picture in here is my intention. So I pop them up on purpose. My books get fatter and fatter as this event goes on because I think that you need to be able to put as much as you want in here and if you're going that's why I make my my pictures or my books a little bit thicker than what is instructed if this is supposed to be three uh, here on this side the hinge I usually do three and a half at least so um, something to think about if you like fat pages so here we go uh, fat is not your enemy. My, at least I'm trying to tell myself that. Okay, here we go. Look at those gorgeous little uh, postcards. Already ready to go. The little leftover pieces. Keep all of them. I, I don't know. I'm going to have to go tr start traveling so I can add this to something. So here on that little camera, I added a little hinge on the side. Let me show you right here. Here's a little hinge. So when you think about it, I knew I wanted to add pockets. In her instructions, I don't think she has pockets. I wanted pockets, so I added a little bit of a hinge because by the time you put pictures in there, you're gonna need to. So then you lift this up and look at the genius of Rosa Kelly. She is uh, some kind of engineer, if I'm correct, a civil engineer. So this is her mind at work. 
okay? She makes a pop-up, pop-out, and it has little flip-ons. I just can't stand how that delicious that looks. And then I added extra little flips for the back. So let me show you. Let's see if you can see how that looks. You see that? Is that not the sweetest thing you've ever seen? Little flip-ups for your books. Now, just thinking about these tags, that's what you want to look at and add more real estate to your scrapbook pages. This is this is just beyond gorgeous, but I want a scrapbook page that maybe has some little hinges to it, uh, is what I'm thinking here. Okay, so that one goes back in, and we're still on a page. And then in between her pages, she does give you some areas to do a pocket here. These are these big pockets that go inside and you can continually add more things to it. Here is her page. Okay, and then you flip it over. This whole thing is right here. And we're gonna go to still the opposite side of page one. I think she calls them bases or something like that. I can't remember. So here is this page. Is this little girl not so beautiful? Okay, I added glitter. I added a little glitter in the flower and the, some little lacy, creamy stuff. Added glitter to her shoes, to her bow. I mean, I just went glitter crazy. And then these were some little flowers that I um, had from another event. And you kind of just take them apart. They look like they matched in here. So I wanted to continue to use them. Uh, again, if you see a little ribbon somewhere in my uh, books, you're going to find something to pull on. And here's the little ribbon that I found. In this one, you open this little, is that not the perfect little suitcase? You open it up and look at this. Now she went more than just the M. Huh? This is like a WWW. And this little thing goes here. That's where all the magnets go. And this is the Rosa Kelly spinning magnet that I was showing you ladies and gentlemen how to use on the other book. There is magnets here. They hide into this other area. And there is also magnets right here to make it snap in. Otherwise it would just spin and look kind of crazy. So that is there. And then you open this loveliness open. Look at that, okay? This is a whole page. I don't know where I'm gonna put a picture at, but you would. And then here is the back of these gorgeous pages. Pages here is supposed to be gold, uh, gold, uh, foil paper and instead of the gold foil paper I ordered on Amazon gold auto trimming and silver auto trimming and I it made it lighter instead of adding more and more paper so I added these little strips to this and then you open it up okay so did you get that this is still one page you open up and then you open right to left and then on the right side, of course, I was gonna make it into a pocket and add it some more paper. This is a different paper line. You can kind of tell that the paper line is a little more pastel. I'm okay with it. It's okay if it's not perfect. Polka dots are always fun. And then on this side is another exact copy and more pretty pictures uh, and more fun little pullouts on here. So right, left, top, bottom. This is a book by itself, but can you see how this would be wonderful to use in a scrapbook? Okay, here we go. We're still looking. Here is what I'm calling the pocket book, and I don't remember if Rosa Kelly's is exactly the same because mine looks a little bit different, but we'll be okay. Uh, here you open up, open up. Absolutely, just like a little folio or your little um, clutch purse, okay? You open it up. Here's the little girl, bikini girl on the bottom. And on the top, you have her little uh, straw hat and some fruit. And then in the middle is where you're going to have that um, collapsible type of waterfall photos. Do you see that? Here we have a set of one, two, three, four collapsible waterfall photos. But Rosa Kelly, always adds extra extras to it. So they have little flips up on each waterfall, flip up and down on each waterfall. You see that? And I just added the my favorite corners because I absolutely love those. Instead of adding more weight to it, I added little ones. And then I added this in the back because I didn't, I didn't like the way that looked. It didn't look finished to me. And then you fold it down 
and of course it's going to be able to spin because why would a clutch not spin? And then you can be looking at this picture going, oh, look at that, it is now horizontal. Oh, wait a minute, that picture should be vertical, then you can move with it. So, is that not gorgeous or what? And I can feel that I have at least two magnets on this holding that down. Then, in the middle, you're going to have more spaces for pictures because you have a pull-out little page that goes inside. And then we're gonna go to the next spot. And here is the Eiffel Tower look and the purple little um, little birdie flowers, I wanna call. There's a little, little birdie company and I added little pearls to the centers, a little purple to her little hat. Uh, all, of course, some little rhinestone stuff. And then this is that matchbook little uh, waterfall action. So you flip this up and here is the picture of the Eiffel Tower. No, this is Notre Dame, sorry, excuse me. And then when you pull on it, it kind of flips up. You see that little action? So you can put a bunch of little mini books in here. Now this one is not gonna spin with you because it's attached to it, but you will be able to be putting it back in here and it's just gonna be little tiny, maybe two by two, by two little pictures, little bitty ones. But there is a ribbon, so we're gonna pull on it, pull all the way up, and look what you end up with. This absolutely gorgeous Eiffel Tower picture of that now you can really enjoy the 12 inch entire page. Because this is smaller, now you can really enjoy it. And I even made it bigger because this is an edge from something else. Compared to where you were in the front and you kind of had to squish her into that space, now you can she can really see the entire picture. So I made sure that where I was cutting that, I was able to make sure and follow it. Yep, there's a little gold in there. Maybe I should have uh, cut a little piece of her in there. But anyway, so there's there's that part right here. Very nice and thick, really nice. And then you flip this part down. And let's look at this part in the middle first. Here we go. Little ribbon pull, so you know you're gonna have ribbon pulls. And then the little gold, you flip open again. You flip open again. Do you see that? Are we getting confused yet? Yes, that's it. That's exactly what we're doing. Rosa Kelly, she blows, blows my mind when we're doing these little flippies. Uh, but this is something that we can carry on to our scrapbook, why not? And then uh, this is the, uh, the Notre Dame and I thought that that could go right there or right here and so it's still living in my, in my life here. So, and then this absolutely gorgeous flat gold paper on the bottom and then we closed her all up and there she is. So then there is a mini camera lens inside of her book. Because she has a camera lens on the outside, why not have one on the inside? Are we still getting some inspiration? Are we getting our inspiration juices going and moving? Because now we're really on it. Win it, we're gonna win it. Uh, these are tiny little uh, flowers that, oh my gosh, I've had them for, for forever. They are, they come in these gorgeous, cute little jars. I bet you guys have them in your scrap room as decoration. These little milk jugs. This is recollection and I think I have maybe about three or four different colors of them. Um, maybe 10 colors, let's be honest. Uh, and then you kind of just get some hot glue. You get your uh, little spot and you start squishing them in and making them stand up on each other so that they're not flat and they kind of have this little texture to it. So here's the little girl with her little cute little uh, bikini, race, bikini racer back kind of thing and a little bit of some sequence in there. And here we go, we're gonna open this baby up. And of course on the opening part, I see that one of these I made tags into. So here you have your tags, look at that. And then you're able to open this up and I'm thinking you can see the whole thing here and absolutely gorgeous paper the little strips going around i can't even imagine if i had real paper all the way down around here uh, and then you open up this side and you get this gorgeous little image of the little girl with her bikini and her cocoa drink i'm sure that's a smoothie of some sort not alcoholic at all uh, and all this gorgeous little bikini wear on the side on the top and then on the other side you get the exact same 
uh, little girl's hat. Uh, so is that not phenomenal? Do we not need to make one of these little pop-ups? They make them all the time on cards. They're not hard to do. You just kind of have to work slowly and you can kind of do this. Uh, there's die cuts also that make them, but once you kind of understand how it works, you can do it. So here's that one, here's this one, and then you fold this all back up. There's magnets to hold this in place, and of course it's pretty heavy. There should be a spot right here where you're pulling out a little piece. And then let me show you the back page before we do the, bar, the last last. These are little flags that are kind of little uh, pendants that go and you can open them up. I put added pop dots to some of these and you can open them up and add little pictures to these. Wouldn't this be lovely for a trip with your girlfriends? Um, I think so. So, and then of course I had so much paper left over that I had to add a little pocket. And like we did with those diamond Christmas uh, cutouts from that pink one, you see how we followed the leaves here and turned this into a pocket instead of having it straight. And then I trimmed it with a little gold, that's probably Coastal Gold Nouveau um, drops right here. And then we, of course, finished with some little gold Anna Griffin bows and that looks fabulous. And then we have this last page that I know now that it should not have been on this page because we kind of have to make it flat for it to work. This is all Rosa Kelly. I followed the instructions and tweaked it here and there for my style, but this is all Rosa Kelly engineering. Let's make sure we give her plenty of credit for this. And you lift up, and I'm not gonna show you yet until it's sitting look at that and now I'm going to turn it over so you can see the tower of beautifulness that's sitting on my book. This is a tower. It has the gorgeous girl with her suitcase on top and it has a tower. There is now a two-story tower on in my scrapbook and of course Rosa Kelly and Martha would want it to spin. So of course it's going to spin. Do you see that right here? Do you see how beautiful that is spinning? Now I did add a lot of extra paper to it because I felt like it needed, uh, you can see all over it when you kind of spin it, it's just beautiful. So I added lots of pink sherbet kind of light paper to everything. It does make it look kind of finished. I think there's gold in some of them and it kind of reflects the light. And now when we take it down, let me show you this way so you can see. When we take it down, we kind of put our little fingers in here and separate it. Now you can kind of see it. Let's see, let's get all this together. There you go. Now you can see how the engineering of this is working. Okay, she has these little wings that go from this little, let's say if it's a four by four paper. And then she has these coming up and then this one comes up inside of it and it all has magnets. There is so much magnet here. Uh, it should be healing magnets, uh, but this is how it is inside. Uh, it's absolutely so much fun. I think this would be phenomenal for my little Hello Kitty girl that I absolutely love. You know who you are over there, my sweet little Angelina. Uh, so this is something that I think we're gonna have to build in the in our uh, Hello Kitty book whenever we get to that part. So isn't that just so much fun? So she, uh, yeah, I made it on my last page. I should have made it probably more towards the middle or the center, this gorgeous tower, because I always have to make sure that my book is flat and this is zigzagged for it to be standing. Otherwise, it kind of looks like the Leaning Tower of Bisa. So you see that? but at least you can see it. So, so there it is. So then you kind of drop it and you separate the magnets and it all kind of comes back down. It all comes together lovely. And that is my book. How long did it take me to do this? Uh, I decorated it over a weekend at a scrapbook retreat. I built the outside of it. Um, 
probably two or three hours for about a week. So it was not an easy chore. It was a long uh, technique here to do this. So I, I just wanted to show you how much I absolutely love Rosa Kelly. Uh, I have some of her other projects, but I, they've never come out the way she intended it to do. But this one, I really tried my best to follow the instructions. And the paper is phenomenal. You've got to get the paper for this for this summer. I hope that they're making more. Sunshine, uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I am super inspired now. I think I'm gonna be staying up all night uh, scrapbooking and making uh, templates for our Lillian uh, line for Anna Griffin, Lillian. So thank you so much and we will see you soon. Bye.